I'm really enjoying this show. Because there's so many stupid characters that I can have beef with, and it's better if I can have beef with imaginary children too. Oh, I'm just, just livid. So what's going on? Ryo is grinding. The royals are not happy about it. There's that Alphonse guy. L. Loser. Our sword trainer guy. He's pretty cool. The mustachio. Vice captain. Fucking idiot. Got humiliated in front of everybody. Demoted. And what is he doing right now? Being completely just taken by the ambassador from the different empire which most likely are the bad guys. I think it's very obvious at this point that they're just kind of buttering the ex-vice captain up to, you know, I don't know, it released like state secret secrets or some stuff like that. So there's going to be more potential stupid things going to be happening. There's more time skips. Um, there's this reoccurring theme of like, you know, Ryo getting cucked because of Michan. Michan, I think, definitely got isekai here earlier. Obviously, there's some coincidence with the pink haired goddess or something going on there. Probably something like that, but... Our goal is to not stick around here, but go to Yagumo. To go to where our parents are from, right? There's also some shitty, sad things, I think, happening with our mom in the flashbacks. But hey, let's begin today's reaction. Seria's room. She still hasn't grown. 12 and 17, same shit. Oh, we're leaving. Yagumo. How many main characters is just named after the same fucking sorry? The voice acting, like we just watched Damachi. That's Kirito's voice actor for Bill. This guy's the same thing. Every anime we watch, it's the same goddamn dude. We can't get away from him. Kingdom of Lies. Kingdom of Lies. Uh-oh. Odo. Odo mentioned. But we can't use magic, apparently. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. You really had to bring that up. I hate you, Alphon. Ugh, the lackeys, bro. <laughs> Christina changed spots and Flora is finally present in the classroom. Okay, Flora was like absent all about last episode. Now, I thought that we can use magic. The goddess, the pink girl goddess showed us. Seria's search shit made us like unlock this like blue magic aura stuff. And then we reinforced her body. But maybe there's something similar going on like, like in Skimichi Minlet Fantasy. Where like we have like a different set of system of like powers we're using. And the magic that they know is not what was shown to us in episode one. <laughs> <laughs> What if they fuck up? Okay. Yeah, shit on them, Seria. Okay. Whoa. Artifacts. Basically, meteors. Are you using an artifact right now? I see that blue aura again, though. She is using six separate bongs, bro. <laughs> Tower of God reference. Sugoi. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty cool, Professor. Magical Covenant formulae. But what can we do? So, we can reproduce magical techniques, but we can't use the Covenant magical formulas. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay. Does that mean he also just here just controlled six separate things? Hold up. He's he's imitating it. He's imitating what she did in the palm of his hands. To a lesser degree, but there's still like many different balls of light moving around, which is probably kind of crazy, right? Okay. And skipped off screen. <laughs> I was excited. I didn't learn shit. Glaze. Glaze. Oh, shut the fuck up. No, you didn't. You're just here to fucking sniff her shoes, bro. Don't act for a woman you cared about that. Dumbass lackeys. Ugh. Seducing? Bro, skill issue. They're falling for us. In fact, the professor you're trying to raise up right now, brother, you got no clue. 
Everything's a fluke. Everything's a fluke, bro. Flora. Stewart, you suck. Yeah, where's the proof, Stewart? It's the other way around, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. You got no clue what Seria does behind the scenes when you're not around, bro. He's the one flirting with him. Ooh. I love how Flora is just standing there. Because <laughs> obviously she's important and she's trying to... She's, she's basically... The show's trying to tell us like... Flora sees the discrimination and bad things happen to, you know, uh, Rio. But Flora's just like... <laughs> and no one acknowledges she's just watching the entire time. Ooh, the house of Duke Huguenot. Get out of here. Even Christina can't deny that. Christina's just been observing. She stopped hating after episode one. Mm. That's right, we saved your ass. We're training? That's what they mentioned before, right? The practicum. Team competition. Okay. What's the teams? ま、この三輪を最短コースで抜け、ゴールを作戦時間は今日の日没まで各自の成績に大きく影響する。昼過ぎまでに到達するぞ。それは無理です。Okay. Okay. Is that cheating? Uh, just being like ready and prepped in advance and using your resources. I don't think this is really cheating. Mm, kind of feels like it, yeah. Yeah, they're just being prepared. I, I think it's okay. Okay. I wish that Christina didn't say anything and just kept that blank stare. But Christina just been doing this the entire time. She's just been looking. Like, ever since episode one, she just... Nope. She's just looking. She's just observing, and she's like, hmm. Okay. Alright. What's she planning? Maybe she's waiting for, like, Alphonse to slip up. I don't know. Yeah, Christina is permanently locked in. <laughs> for the bag boy? You wanna help? Carry the fucking bag, Flora. Alright, thank you. I'm just gonna leave this with you back now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Give it to her, all of it. <laughs> Let the little girl carry it. Flora still feels so indebted. They did not have to do this guy so dirty. Not only was he kinda chubby, you know, he's a rotund boy, and he's not the best looking fella, but I thought he'd be like a big boy, you know, a big strong man that we can count on. He's short as fuck too on top of that? God damn. He's a fucking living embodiment of a chode. That's right. It's unfair. Because he's poor. He's poor and filthy. Here we go. Goblins. Yo, fight them. What's wrong, Stuart? Getting a little queen. You're gonna cry, little baby. You, you need a motherfucker. Fuck, you need these goblins. You take these kids' head. Let's go, goblins. Yo, where's a hobgoblin at? I need a hobgoblin to show up and destroy these kids. So it does look like, um, Rio. Like, he can do this. This is basically what he did in episode one. And even like the whole magic ball lightning movement, he is incantationless. That's what the difference is, right? The whole like covenant formula, whatever. These dudes take extra time to set this shit up. Ryo can just like envision what's happening and then it can just happen, right? And yeah, I, I, this is an artifact, I think. The ring, right? Basically just enhanced magic, but it's looking like, yeah, we, we can just like do it instantly. <laughs> oh shit. Damn, okay. Easy. Okay. Glaze. Glaze. What? I'm carrying your fucking bags. Good. 
nothing like a grown ass man getting involved with you know children affairs and having beef with them alright dude you should go there and kill Stuart and Alphonse oh Ryo noticed that's why Ryo was looking distantly in a different direction that's what he was doing and then he did the thing and then it killed that guy right wait 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 uh oh <gasps> wait a minute the map didn't tell us about this it's clearly the works of the other guy right oh christina Ryu knows perception. Oh, now we're fucking talking. You try to get. I want Stuart and Alphonse to fight these things. Let's fucking go. We can't fight this. It's too big. Fuck you. I just hate you so much, Stuart. <laughs> Flora, no! Rio! 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 Safe! <gasps> okay, alright, he jumped down! Wow, my hero! Okay, the animation here is pretty janky as fuck. But basically, he jumped down there and somehow he's propelling her back up to the cliff and he'll be the one sacrificed. <laughs> that animation's pretty funny, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the power got shit. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Alright. So, real safe Flora. Great. But Stuart, bro. What about the orcs? Squad up! Let's go! Fuck you, Stuart! What? Is Blitz shot that good? Did that girl just 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 spam Blitz shot and win against the Orc? Wow! Never mind. Christina! Yo! These blitz shots are pretty OP, okay? I, I thought that they couldn't beat them, but like, you know, these kids are pretty capable. None of them are even thinking about Ryo. What did you say? I wonder if falling from there without a single injury will make them more suspicious. <laughs> I mean, they're not even thinking about us right now. That's the sad part. That we sacrificed ourselves by jumping off the fucking cliff because Stuart fucked up. And they don't even think about us right now. They're just too busy. Yay, we did it! And now Ryo's like, maybe I should cut myself so that it doesn't look suspicious. Wind magic. Cool. Flora's gonna feel even more indebted to us. Now I feel like you're basically just using magic. But it's a magic that's way more convenient and OP. Like, no cast time, no thinking, you just fucking do it all in your head. Today's episode was called The Kingdom's Lies, though. Maybe the lies pertains to the whole magic system that exists here. And maybe they'll realize that this is like a once-in-a-century genius that can do incantationless magic. I don't know. There she is again, the pink goddess. Megami. Yes. You bumped into her. Yeah. Yes. Were you? Oh, come on. Uh, you're just shut the fuck up, bro. Just say my bad. Say that you got injured. It was so scary. I didn't know what I was doing. I lost my balance. You really going to do this right now? Someone else. Everyone but me. Wasted. Yo, even Alphonse thinks. Stay down. Oh my. They're gonna blame Rio here. Oh right. It was real. He's the one that pushed Flora. I hate you so much. One second. Three, two, one, let's go. Christina saw though. What? There's witnesses though. People saw, right? What? That's crazy. Yes. 
Kuri was just watching from the side. Peer pressure. I love how Christina always is just like telling Alphonse what to do. Even though Alphonse is the leader of the group, he, he just like, he just like freezes. And Christina's like, alright, what are we gonna do now, bro? Come on, let's go. Yep. That's crazy. Based. Let's go, Flora. Based, Flora. Mm -mm. Ooh, scary monster. What is it? Damn. Minotaur. Okay, the difficulty of the monsters has been rising exponentially. First, we started with goblins. Then we had these giant orcs, which was already kind of crazy. Now you got like this minotaur thing. This is clearly the work of the guy, the ambassador from the other empire, right? <laughs> Yo, Rio, show up. <laughs> Move around, everybody. Look at that. First one to act, always Christina. Everyone is shocked and paralyzed in fear. Christina, honestly, is such a giga chad. Look at that initiative. It's over. We need Rio. It's even laughing at us, bro. The monster's laughing. <laughs> okay. Missed. Real, where are you at? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Flora already healing, bro. Real. <laughs> Yo, the Minotaur lollicon for real. What was that? Mmm, that's what I like. That bread? <laughs> Ooh, real. Here we go. The MC is here. Let's go. Bell versus Asturias. Let's go. Come on, bro. Because Flora's cute. And the only witness here is Flora. No one else is going to see this, huh? And at the end, I'm sure they're going to do some bullshit, but as long as we have one witness, and if it's like a crown princess, sure, not a crown princess, but you know, the royal princess, surely they're going to believe us, right? <laughs> That's crazy that rather than doing this, he's just one-handed just like swinging against the fucking axe of the Minotaur, even though episode he was doing double-handed Japanese swordsmanship a lot of sloppy reused animation here we go lock in oh oh I'm not gonna sit here and say that that was the best animated fight I've ever seen a lot of the fights here are actually very very mid but I'm not really watching this short fight I'm watching for what's gonna happen now what are these shitty kids going to say about us? What is Flora going to do? This is what I'm more interested in. They show up. And Ryu is just going to disappear. And they won't even know. Only Flora will know. And here's that guy again. The ambassador. Is he going to fight us next? Mm -hmm. Spirit Arts. Uh, I mean, hey. It's called Spirit Chronicles. I'll try. I mean, the show is called Spirit Chronicle. The thing about spirits is really mentioned, but what he's doing is spirit art compared to everyone else using like magical. I get, I forget the word that they're using. All right, Yagumo people, spirit arts. Cool. Flies away. Bye. Real. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, these are. This is like Stuart's like grandfather or father, right? Yeah, this is like Stuart's evil. Fuck him. Wait, 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 wait. Is it the vice captain? Apple really doesn't fall too far from the tree. Like, vice captain? Piece of shit. He got demoted. L. Stuart? L. They're just a family of L's, bro. それは国としても and honestly, being antagonized does lead to the funny moments, but like, it's crazy how much beef they have with this fucking 12 year old kid. They're gonna blame everything onto him. Like, so far, they know that like, he just kind of got pushed off the cliff, I guess, right? Or well, that he like, it, it's, he deserved that, that he's off the cliff, that he's missing. No one even knows that like, he slayed the Minotaur or saved it. Only Flora knows, but those credits are not gonna be acknowledged. And this dude is saying, you know, the royal family's getting weaker. There's, there may be some internal strife going on and things are not looking good. That's not the vice captain? I thought this is the vice captain. Why do they all fucking look the same? What, what, what is this shit, bro? I, I thought that's the vice captain. The two part fucking. Is this the captain? Why am I getting them mixed up over and over again? Is it Duke? It's the same fucking model though. It's just bullshit. They look the same to me, bro. This is bullshit. It's his father? It's the vice captain's father? Uh, okay. Well, I guess that does make sense why, you know, the vice... That's ah, all the same. It's related to the vice captain. They're all fucking else. Fuck them all. Is Ryo not gonna return? No? Not Vice Captain's father? Why are you all agreeing? It's the blind leading the blind! Motherfucker, some dude just say, no, it's the Vice Captain's father! And you're like, yeah, true! And someone's like, no, actually, it's not the father, it's... Fuck me. All that matters is, that's not the Vice Captain. And that's not the vice captain. Different dude. Okay, different dude. Different family. Still fuck Stuart. Oh, hey. You're back. Hug. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's new? We've been scapegoat every time. That is true. We should just get out of here. This kingdom sucks. This place actually sucks so much, bro. We should just go to Yagumo. Nothing good will happen from staying around here. Today's episode was called The Kingdom Secret. Maybe the secret was exactly what we saw there with the nobles conspiring to blame shit on Ryo and also maybe there's like a potential coup or like a swift of power to change him. Like a swing in power happening, but like we should get out of here, bro. I don't even blame you, Sedia. We should get out of here. You wanna come with us? Aww. We're really leaving right now, huh? We ain't gonna graduate here. We're gonna drop out. What's your new name? Oh, maybe that's why his hair changes too. Well, the black hair is the Yagumo identity, but in the opening and shit, right? The, he his like a hair changes. I'm like, is that like a Super Saiyan mode or something? Maybe he just dyes it, lives in disguise. Ryo. Haruto hey, old name. Japanese name. Uh, who knows? Big time skip. When we return, how many new girls do you think will be just glazing Ryo or how to now? <laughs> like for sure, we're definitely gonna get some furry girls. Like in the opening, there was some like cat girls, bunny girls, and shit going on, right? Like then some girls in like kimonos and stuff. Like Sidia, <laughs> you got no clue what's gonna happen. 
Bye bye. And Flora will never be able to pay the debt. Flora will just feel guilty forever. Okay. Bye. Seria is such an angel. Aww. That's actually kind of sad. What the? Yeah. I don't think that this story is anything too deep or anything, but like. Is she actually. Oh, oh, I feel bad. <laughs> Episode 1 stuff. <laughs> and we got tortured by the vice captain. Last episode. This is when we're still 7 and not 12. All oh, these nice slice of life memories, man. Unintentional Riz. You are a child, you're 12. Yeah. As long as she doesn't get friend zoned, I guess. So we're just gonna walk east? Like, how are we gonna get there? Bye. And that's it, huh? Not yet? Wait, wait. Catgirl. Bro, they're really... They're sending... You know, this girl's gonna get domesticated by us, bro. No, 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 no. She's gonna be added to the Hara, but they're sending like some sort of beast girl after us, huh? Kunka. Kunka. The Arbor family guy. Latifa. We got a bunny girl, maybe. Oh, we got a cute bunny girl, maybe? I'm not really sure if she's a bunny girl, but uh, Latifa. New girl added to the harem pretty soon. And that's it. Next time it's called a little assassin girl, which I'm sure is Latifa, but I doubt that she's going to do much to us. She's going to join our harem. I know for a fact. Now, today's episode was pretty hype. It was hype, but it was also showing us the more disgusting part of the kingdom of constantly just using this kid as a scapegoat because the kingdom is so corrupt. I think one of the most important things that was set up is how the Arbor family is looking for some sort of coup. The royal family is getting weak. The scales of powers are being shifted. I'm... They're a royal family? I don't... Who, who, what fucking family is this? Their rivals are the Arbor family? Uh, this is the Huguenot family. Okay. So this is the huge knot. So basically think of it as like, they're not huge. They're, they're a bunch of small fucks. So huge knots, not huge family, an Arbor family. Not huge family? They're like trying to like tip the scales of power and balance and shit. And they're going to blame it on Rio. They fucking suck. I don't really know who the Arbor family is, and that guy was not the vice captain. He just looks so similar. Kingdom just is rotten to the core. I mean, maybe the time that we're gone and we come back, the kingdom will be in a completely different state where we need to, like, save the kingdom. Like, it's interesting how we set up this whole, you know, you know setting here. And I thought we we're going to stay here for a while, but we're already leaving as a kid because they're just so shitty. But maybe when we come back after many years and formidable powers... The kingdom will be in a state of disarray where we need to save them and there'll be like a cool hero moment. Who really knows? Christina and Flora, like Christina really just... Christina and Rio really had no fucking relationship after that, huh? Like after episode one, it was just like silent treatment the entire time. And Flora, she is still like... Bro, she owes us a debt that she straight up can't even fucking pay back at this point. We saved her twice now, right? We saved her twice now and she doesn't have a chance to like reciprocate the favor. So this is going to be delayed until whenever we come back. We're going to Yagumo, and who knows what kind of, you know, things we'll discover there. Maybe there'll be some crazy power-ups, I'm not sure. Regarding his powers, he uses spirit arts, so maybe we'll be able to learn exactly what spirit arts is in Yagumo and, you know, return better than ever. But the setup right now is pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to the payoff. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.